Riven Mains and Yasuo Mains alike. I am the Nightwing, Way of Life Esports, coming at you guys with another League of Legends video. So there has been a, you know, big tremendous growth in the channel subscribers and views. And I humbly, humbly want to thank you guys for that. You guys are the best subscribers on the planet. And you guys are absolutely awesome. I just wanted to tell you that first and foremost. Second thing is that this is my first year overall doing League of Legends content, you know, fully by myself for a long period of time. I've had to learn how to, you know, title a League of Legends video, talk about a League of Legends video, uh, you know, more or less so break down my discussion points on a League of Legends discussion video. These are all things I've had to learn and literally not in a good amount of time, but I think I've overall learned how to attract the viewer and gain subscribers at a pretty decent rate. There are, there's obviously going to be, you know, other things I can do to gain people, which, you know, right now at this current point in time of me recording this video, uh, world is over. All that's left is pretty much all stars and that's going to be more or less so in the next month or so because all stars usually is in december so yeah that's pretty much it there's no worlds there's no splits right now all the teams are in their off season you know getting their roster moves sorted out i think that when you look at everything else at the season it's overall been pretty good all the regions did fairly well beside north america obviously but uh, more or less so, I think that I've learned how to control my emotions during certain league videos because it's not personal bias that, you know, clouds my judgment. It nothing of personal bias ever clouds my judgment ever. But what obviously I'm going to say is I'm a very real person who will tell you exactly what's on his mind and I'm not sure sugarcoating anything. I know there's been some recent videos where I've gotten some uh, flack for, but that's okay. You know, I've gotten flack on my main channel much worse than I've gotten on this channel. So, you know, uh, I'm that person that'll, you know, say, say what's on his mind, whether it's right or wrong, I'm personally going to do it. You know, if that hurts people's feelings, you know, I can't control that. Obviously I'm just talking about my situation, my opinion on something. So that's overall what I'm going to be doing. And, you know, overall the content has been just fine. I think people enjoy the content. The views have been surprisingly really shooting up where it's like, I didn't, think I would have this many viewed videos in the last past couple of weeks and obviously that might be due to you know off-season you know roster rumors and news getting obviously confirmed and that's fine you know everybody wants to know where their favorite players are going to be at where their favorite coaches are going to be and what orgs they want to cheer for or if you're already cheering for you know orgs like I am in Cloud9 and G2 then you obviously want to see who they're going to have on their roster going into next year because you want to make sure they do well so that's fine as well also so what I'm going to say is I'm going to be going over comments. Yes, I'm going to be going over comments. Yes, because people want me to answer their comments and I'm going to do that. And whether they're bad or good doesn't really matter. Also, I really love when you guys give me your unfiltered, undocumented opinion. Uh, if, you don't think, if you don't think I can handle it, well, you don't know what I've been through my personal life. I can handle literally anything you throw at me. And if I'm wrong about something or if I don't see it a certain way and you see it a certain way, that's better. That's perfectly fine tell me about it so that way you know i can better understand something just like in the um the shaka video where i was like why is shaka called shaka 04 and then the people i think i have some german european viewers oh my i didn't know i had them they explained to me why shaka is called that and they they weren't disrespectful they were like okay you don't understand this let me explain it to you in a nice way that's fine and obviously i was very nice to them i was like thank you now i know something that i didn't know before and that makes it overall better uh most people are probably gonna ask me why am i wearing uh these sunglasses right now my eyes are extremely sensitive uh, they've been sensitive since i was a little kid and i just got off work right now i worked out with my personal trainer and I had a migraine uh, earlier on this week, and I hope I'm not getting another one right now. But yeah, I have to wear these because I cannot see my computer properly if I obviously don't use these right now. And I wouldn't be able to do this video either because this is the only thing keeping me doing the video right now. Because It's these right here. Because if I didn't have these, I would literally be like, I wouldn't have this video up literally up until like three days later. So that's why I'm wearing these. My eyes are really, really sensitive right now. I probably should get some Visine. That would probably work out a lot better for me. But at this current point in time right now, I do not have that. So that's not an option. Uh, but I will be getting some because that would help out a lot. Or, or I might have to get some special... Uh, 
glasses while looking at the computer because most of my work does come off a computer, which, which is obviously staring at a screen. So that's something that I need to obviously work on as well. See, I can obviously work, work on things as well. So let's go over a few comments. So, so mostly the most videos that I've had gain a lot of traction is obviously this one. And this one today garnered a lot of people. There was a lot of people talking about this one. So that's fine. You know, obviously, I make videos for, for people to watch. I don't obviously make videos for people not to watch. That's not why I do things around here. And let's see what people have said. Okay, so most of these are probably going to come off this TSM video. I got a lot of no notifications from this. So let's go. So if we're not allowed to be proud of TSM, what NA teams can we be proud of c9 because they made it one bracket further than us but suck at winning north america or liquid because they have won north america as much as us which is not true because you've won it more than them but i understand what you're saying and but only made it as far in worlds should no na fan be proud of their team according to you because no north america team has won worlds only skt fanatic i don't count fanatic winning worlds just I'm putting that blank. I don't count that. That that no one cares about season one worlds. But if you want to use that for context, I guess. Uh, Fnatic, Samsung Galaxy, IG, and now FPX fans are allowed to be part of their teams. All right. So that's not what I meant. What I meant was that if you're debating, I probably maybe I didn't say it properly, and that's totally fine. But this is what I really mean. If you are debating with somebody, and you know how TSM fans are toxic toward people, you know it's really hard to be proud of something that literally, in terms of international success you cannot brag about that because there has been none uh if you count i am katavite 2015 or if you count the getting out of groups in 2014 that's literally the most you, you can probably count but in terms of trying to argue legitimacy of your team to somebody else you know it's not really there but i will say this if you are a tsm fan and you're a proud tsm fan like my boy right there sean jordan sean jordan's a cool dude i like him he's really cool but uh, yeah you root, root for your team you know Root for your team. I never said you couldn't root for your team. I never said you couldn't be proud of your team. What I'm saying is that in terms of actually using a concrete debate against what vi about how viable your team actually is, there's not really much to stand on. I'm not saying my teams really have either beside, beside G2, but you know, you have to kind of understand that context of what you're arguing matters versus what you're trying to say, you know? But that's all I meant. I'm, you can be proud of any team you want. You can be proud of literally any team you want. That's what I'm saying right now. Uh, I want TSM to do well. I, they are from North America, so I want them to do well. I hope they don't, you know, get made fun of constantly. Because this is also what I saw in, in today's video, too, is that, you know, people think that TSM are don't don't get made fun of, which is they people literally make fun of TSM. I don't know what realm of possibility some people are living in or like a different reality that you tend to be a part of, but t people are making fun of TSM. You know that joke that came out this year about, oh yeah, TSM is undefeated at groups this year. TSM dodged everybody. They are making fun of you. That's not respect. That's, who, what team is that being said about beside TSM? You tell me right now. You can't because it doesn't exist. You know what I mean? Oh, TSM dodged everybody at Worlds. It's a joke because they're making fun of you. That's not, that's not like, I respect this team. I respect this org. That's, I'm making fun of you. People don't understand context versus what is something that's actually, you know, being what's told in front of them. And that's pretty much it. If you're probably a TSM fan, that's fine. I never even said you couldn't be. I never said that at all. People just like to listen to whatever they like to listen to and take whatever they like to hear out of videos and just compile it onto one thing and then say what they want to feel. Now, Mr. Kevin Newhouse, you are not wrong. Maybe I didn't say things properly, but you know, that's not what I meant. And if I meant, and if I came off that way, I am sorry, but I would not be proud of my team for cucking three junglers this year that's this year alone i'm not i'm not talking about, about the other years about the other, other other players obviously being screwed over let's just i'll to end this comment off i'll just use spica so spica got thrown in last minute in an important playoff match all right so if he doesn't win that playoff match all right he's screwed people are gonna watch that match uh people potential team owners are people who probably want to pick him up future coaches then now Spica, obviously, is going to get looked at in a bad light. All because they threw him in the deep end. Yes, he did agree to it, but what 17-year-old is not going to agree to that being playing on a main brand like TSM? That's not his fault. He doesn't know any better. He really doesn't. 
Now his his career is over. I don't know about you guys, but who's talking about Spica right now? His career is effectively over. It was over in literally two best of fives. Really? That's something to be proud of? Is that you destroyed a person's career? Really? Come on. Like, that's what I meant. In terms of the harsh side, that's something that I can't be proud of. Because that's wrong. That is just wrong. You can, we, There is no debating. There is no uh, blah, 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 making up stupid scenarios to make to make your argument better. There is, that is not better. That is wrong. 100% wrong. I will never stand for that. He has his career screwed over for a long time. Imagine how many teams are going to take a chance on this guy. He didn't... Then, and it doesn't matter about the context of the situation. The context of the, of the situation boils down to what people see is what they are going to think. What me, what, And what I mean by that is they see him lose that best of five, those two best of fives of TSM, they think he sucks. That's it. That That's it. You, we, we can say it was not his fault or that that is also a fair argument, but that doesn't matter because that's not what people see. And to credit TSM fans, uh, I'm glad they remember they got out of groups in 2014 because I do. The biggest misconception, which I'll do eventually about TSM and you know North America, is that they don't get out of groups, which is not true. But that's not the right video for that. But that's what I mean by that. Sean Jordan, okay, uh, okay. In your first two minutes, sounded biased. Me, I would never sound biased, dude. But I love you, brother. Brother, I love you, Sean. Sean, you're amazing. I'm just gonna type, I love you, brother. Yeah, I like I like all you guys. You guys, you know, I, li I like all you guys. But you know, context, context, context. Dude, J John K. Dude, this is sad. I think you. Sh I think the name of your channel holds you back. What? What the? Uh, what? What the fuck? That doesn't mean any. What? Yeah. C what? My. I'm. I'm. I'm not. I'm. Just gonna, I'm. Gonna type that. I'm gonna leave. Uh, it's okay. I'm. TSM fans are so toxic, but you're but you're pretty high high there up on your high horse ranting about that for two minutes after you went on our subreddit to steal my picture to use as your thumbnail and that the and for the duration of your whole video. If we're so toxic, you can at least credit where you found it. Content theft is pretty toxic. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop, stop there. First of all, I don't, I'm not even a part of the TSM subreddit. Mr. Puddle of Soda, Mr. 18-year-old kid, I am not part of the TSM subreddit. So, you can stop yourself right there. I don't want, I, there's no debating, I'm not part of the TSM subreddit. I found this thumbnail, literally, off the internet. I had to dig a lot for it because I, I tried to get the right images, but then this, then this is the only one that had it. If you don't believe me, I don't care, personally. It... I don't have to prove anything, you know, but, and I'm toxic. Okay. All right. Okay. But I, I went on your subreddit, a team I do, I'm not a fan of to steal your stuff. What type of sense does that make? I went on your subreddit, a team I do not support to steal your stuff. Just put that in the context alone. All right. I'm done with that puddle of soda. How about you get a, how about you stop drinking soda before it, you know, ruins your life, kid. Alright, uh, let's see. Way of Life Esports. Hey, profe hey, real professional. If you were a smart businessman, you would have just deleted my reply and gone on with your life. I guess we know why you're a nobody with 1K viewers now. No respectable viewer would honestly want anything to do with someone resorting to childish name calling and no a no-name YouTuber. It's a little sad. You should work on that if you ever plan on being anything more than a nobody with a thousand viewers and 50 likes video. Oh, <laughs> that's really funny. It's really funny you say that after you've watched all my videos. Oh, a thousand viewers. Really? Really? I, a nobody with a thousand viewers? Well, sir, I don't know if you're actually smart because people like you aren't. I've got way more than a thousand viewers. Because my highest viewed videos are peaking 5, 3, 2K. There's no peak at a... How about actually learn to read, do your research before insulting somebody? And you commented on my channel. That means that you are in my kingdom. Meaning, I can say whatever I want to you. That's what that means, Mr. J. By J. You are banned off the channel forever. If I see you again, I'll just mute you. And then I'll ban you again. Bye, Mr. J.
Bye, Mr. J. Idiot. All right. SKT Western fans are the most toxic. Just look at the comments during Worlds. TSM Fanatic fans are similar, but I heard LPL fans are by far the worst. You know, that's actually pretty true. I've actually translated a couple of Reddit uh, posts where Chinese fans are tweeting or they're talking about their teams. Obviously, I think that in that context alone, um, LPL fans are pretty toxic. I'm not going to lie, but, you know, toxic to loving your team is something different. Oh, my God. I got to put this back on. Oh, my God. The light is killing me. All right, Sean Jordan, my brother. All right, this is probably the last one to go over. And then, all right, LOL, dude. I'll debate this hardcore. C9 has gone way further than TSM at Worlds, but to say we have nothing to be proud of, uh, you come off as some biased hater. By far, the most successful Orgus TSM, I'm not going to deny that, uh, had both teams tied at number one. The biggest fan base internationally, you, you can still hear the TSM chants in every single nation. Bjergsen could barely get on his team's bus in China. Oh, he probably means he's at Worlds 2017. Don't come off so biased, bro. Hey, if I came off really biased, I'm sorry. Uh, TSM group in 2016 was insane. That was the best TSM team I've ever seen from North America. This 2020 TSM team will absolutely smurf. Bjergsen Dardock combo is insane. And DD topside with BB will also be insane. All right, so this is what I'll say to this. Maybe I, I did come off bias. I'm sorry if I did, but, you know, I'm not going to hold back what I feel. It's never going to happen, you know? Uh, The TSM chants. You know, I it's hard to say. Sometimes they're genuine. Like I said before, dude, people are making fun of them. And it's something that people just don't understand. You know what I mean? You know how people just randomly chant TSM when they have nothing to do, just randomly? That's not because... I assume they respect that team. You know what I mean? You don't see people doing that for SKT, which are G2, Fnatic. Well, I mean, Fnatic actually does, but let's not count them. KT Rolster in LCK. No one does have a TSM. Why? It's not about really being famous. It's about the context of it. They are making fun of you. TSM undefeated at Worlds this year. That was not a respectful thing. It, it That just was not respectful. It, at no point it was. At no point, you're going to tell me, thousands of people saying that is respect. My God, SKT is undefeated at Worlds this year. <laughs> Look at those stupid bastards in that, fine, in that semi-final against Kichu. Those, those three-time world champions, all of those stupid Korean bastards. No one says that because that's not true. And obviously because, you know, they're not making, they don't, no one makes fun of SKT. It, you know, unless they actually do something really, really retarded. But, you know, I, I, I respect that, obviously. I love you, my brother. I'm, I'll give you a heart for that. Uh, I already trashed this loser. Uh, all right. And that's pretty much it for that. Other than that, I kind of should cover some more comments. Oh, there's so many more comments, guys. There really is. Let's go. Uh, let's see. In our comments, fixed title. Oh, thank you, Zach. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I actually should have fixed this title. As your intro is too loud, guy, I must say it's much better. Thank you and great video. You're welcome. Uh, Lou Leone. Thank you. Timestamp. Timestamps? Uh, I don't know. That's... I really don't want to, honestly. I'm just lazy. I really don't want to, honestly. Sneaky got screwed. He is a pro. Needs to be treated with the highest respect. The problem was with coaching and management of C9. Uh, I'm not gonna deny that, Paul Sir... Sol Paul Surgeon, but, you know, we... The context of the C9 situation... Sneaky said something first while the C9 order like basically he came out too soon that <laughs> Sorry, I know I know the context of that's gonna sound weird. He really honestly came out too soon You know, but I think that what he said came first Everybody took that as the you know end-all be-all story while Jack and everybody else had no chance to really tell tell their side There's two sides to every single story Did he get screwed? Who knows? We'll never really know the actual story because you can't just take everything he says as correct Because I'm sorry to tell you man people lie people lie and that's just how life works, bro people lie and I Growing up in my life never just take one person's side of the story because they could be lying to you And that's happened so many times in my life. I just don't take one person's side of the story I like to hear both sides and then kind of give myself a time to adjust both stories See which parts make relevant sense see which parts actually go together, you know? Uh, Castile DC, can you start doing timestamps? I will probably, I don't know. I really don't want to, honestly. Okay, so I'll probably end off with this comment because I, I, I have to take a breast. I have to really get a nap in. But the reason why I don't like doing timestamps is because, first of all, I do this for fun. 
So this is not like my job. I, I actually have a job. And doing that is doing work to me because I do a video straight through for the intention for people to watch it. If I did timestamps, that means that you are skipping over something that I created that I worked really hard on. That's how I feel about it. You know, that's how I feel about it. And I'm the one doing the video. Yeah, you see, you see there? Like, I understand people like timestamps, but I'll have to work up to doing it. I'm not saying never. I'm saying that right now, it's not going to happen. That's all I'm saying. But that's pretty much it. Uh, on John K. Honestly, no joke. 100 Thieves will probably get first with C uh, Sneaky C9 last. <laughs> Bro, 100 Thieves would not get first with Sneaky. I, I, even if, let's just use a hypothetical scenario of, of, let, let, let's just say Cody Sun didn't go to Hunter Thieves again. Let's say he went to like, let's say he stayed on Dignitas. And let's just say C9 gave Sneaky to 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves with Sneaky, Meteos, whoever their mid laner will, will, will ever be. Who's their mid, mid laner going to be? Is it going to be Ryoma? Sun, someday, let, let's just say someday Ryoma, Meteos, uh, Stunt, and Sneaky, right? Okay, a roster like that would I'm not I'm not, I'm not gonna say it. it'd, be, it'd be last, but that's like an eighth place roster. I know people like Sneaky, you know that's fine. I I like him too. People, despite well, what I'm saying, people think I hate him. I don't know where that come from. I I don't know where that came from. I'm not a Sneaky hater. I I just I'm real with my opinion. It's different. It's completely different. What I'm saying is. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, bro, I don't know if you're trolling, man, but 100 Thieves with Sneaky would not get first. That, that is not, that has never happened. Not, not as long as TL exists. And TSM, I'm giving them a bone here. With TSM there, they're not even gonna, gonna, even gonna get second. I think that when I do my power rankings, people think I hate TSM, which I don't hate TSM. I'm just very real with my opinion. I think TSM are second, and I think TL is first. I've been thinking about it all day. I'm like, that TSM roster with Dardock and Bjergsen, that's second place, man. I'm gonna put TSM in second. TL third, unless I see these other rosters confirmed and I get a lot of analysts, you know, in my brain ready and I go in with like all my scenarios in, in which how I rank teams, you know, that's just how I'm am viewing it right now. But yeah, 100, 100 things with Sneaky Bro, it's not going to get first. I'm, I don't know why people think that, uh, but you know, it's, it's your opinion. You know, it's totally fine. But I think that that roster would honestly get ninth place, especially ninth place. Where's the firepower on that roster? Ryoma someday, Meteos, Sneaky, and Stunt. That would suck. That would honestly be a terrible roster. If I was Sneaky and I saw a contract like that where it said I had Stunt and Ryoma, but I mean, hey, people like that he would get re reunited united with Meteos. That's fine. That's fine. But that roster sounds horrible. But hey, that's just my opinion on the matter. Uh, Sean Jordan, bro, I'm, I'm sorry if you're a C9 fan because we backed my dude, haha, <laughs> TSM, Dardock, baby, hey, I wish Cloud9 got Dardock, bro, man, if Cloud9 got Dardock, mm, I'd be so happy, man, you Cloud9 got Dardock and reformed him, just think of the work, uh, Ray Palmer, Ray Palmer sounds, so I'm not gonna tell you guys where I know that name from, but keep up the good work, thank you, thank you. Uh, can you make a follow-up video with the updates from C9, Jack, and Licorice? I feel like it adds context to C9's decisions, uh, with the lack and the lack of follow-up to Sneaky's, as well as show how immature and short-sighted it was for Sneaky to stream his grievances in a way that will make his teammates and org look bad. Oh, oh well, uh, bad, Bandal, Bandit, I actually did that. It's actually right here for you. I actually did that. So if you missed that video, my brother, you have it right here. I created it two days ago, and then I created another one right after that talking about Jack's situation with Sneaky. Right there for you. If you didn't see them, that's fine. Some people don't. I understand. They're right here for you. Uh, but I do agree with you. Sneaky should not have came out and said that the way it sounded because it just makes Cloud9 look bad. And he knows that's going to happen. And don't tell me he doesn't know that. I don't want to hear a lick of bullshit about that. He knows that that will hurt them. He knows that because he knows he has a big fan base. And his fans are so thick-headed and so stupid that they're not going to believe anything Cloud9 says. And they're just going to believe what he says. They're not going to listen to reason. But he knows that. So, hey, that's all I'm saying. Okay, it was nice to do, to do this update video, guys. My eyes feel like the straight... They, they, they feel better now. Holy crap! My eyes feel better! 
Woo! Might as well better. Holy crap! Oh, let's go! Might as well better now. Ah, okay, sorry about that. See you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe, most of all, enjoy. I'm the Nightwing in Way of Life Esports. This is Simon.